Hey everyone and welcome to another video and in this video now that we have Firebase all set up we can start creating challenges and we're just going to make a small change before we start we're going to change our next button on our create screen to a create button and we're going to remove the navigation link that will take us to the remind view and I am planning on doing a mini series on the reminders and local notifications if there is demand so watch out for that afterwards so if we come down to our next button in our create view we can just change this to create and we can come up to where we have our navigation link and we can remove this and remove the corresponding bracket as well and then we can scroll up and we can remove this is active and now that we've sorted that out we can move on to actually creating our um, challenges and what we need to think about here is when we create a challenge, we need to link this to the user that is currently creating the challenge so we can display them in our challenge list. And in order to do that, we need to know what the user ID is and we need to have them logged in. Now, because we are having this create challenge uh, flow without any need for them to enter an email or log in with Gmail or something like this, we are going to sign them in anonymously when they click create here and we are going to check for this just before we create the challenge and if they are logged in we will grab the user ID and if they are not logged in we will sign them in anonymously and then grab the user ID from that and then we can pass that user ID into our create challenge call and we'll do all this with combine operators and we'll create a pipeline to do it so let's um, remove this is active and within our button here when they tap create we want to send an action to our view model and tell it to create a challenge so if we head over to our create challenge view model here in our action enum here we only have one action at the moment but we're going to add another case to create challenge and then where we have this send action we need to add another case to handle this um, create challenge and for now we can just add a print and then we want to come and create a function that will uh, give us this user ID. So we'll have a private function here, which will be current user ID. And this is going to give us back an any publisher. And then we can have a string for the user ID and we're going to have an error as well because this uh, might error if they don't sign in successfully and what we need now is a type alias at the top here so that we are aware that this string is a user ID so we can pop that in there now and we need to import combine as well at the top so let's do that And what we're going to do is let's just return a just um, empty string and then set the failure type to error.self here and erase to any publisher. And I'll explain all this later, but this is just so that the, um, the app actually compiles. And then if we head over to our app on the left here and we create a new group and we're going to call this services and we're going to create a new file here and we're going to create a user service and within the user service what we want is a protocol user service protocol and we're going to have two functions here one to get the current user a publisher to get the current user which will look at our firebase um, current user and return it and the second one will be to sign in the user anonymously. So let's do the first one. And this is going to be current user. And it's going to return us an any publisher um, user 
error. So we can import combine up here and we'll be needing Firebase auth as well. So this user is actually part of the Firebase library. And we're gonna have a sign in anonymously here, which will give us back an any publisher uh, user error. And actually thinking about it, this probably doesn't need to give us back an error because it will either be a user or something nil. So we'll have an optional user here as the success type here. And then we can come underneath and we can have a class, or rather final class user service, which implements this user service protocol. And we can define the current user here and we can say it's going to be auth, which is firebase.org.current user. And we're going to have it return just one of these and then erase to any publisher to type erase it to this. And then we're going to have a sign in anonymously with this any publisher user error return type. And we are going to return here a future, which is basically a, a single use publisher, which will have a user an error type. And this is going to give us a promise. And then we can actually use our Firebase auth here to sign in anonymously. And then we'll have the result and a potential error. So if we have an error here, we can say if let error equals error, then we want to return our promise, the failure, and then we can pass the error in there. Else if let results or rather user equals results dot user, we are going to return a promise dot success and then pass the user in there. And we can then erase any publisher on this future and that will give us this type as well. And that all compiles nicely now. And then what we can do is we can come back to our create challenge view model here and we can write an initializer which will take our user service and it's going to be of type user service protocol we can pass in a user service as the default argument here and we can assign it to a property of user service So we'll have a, let's put it up here, private let user service of type user service protocol. And now that we've instantiated that, we can actually use it in our current user ID publisher here. So we can remove this and we can say return user service dot current user. And then what we want to do is convert this into another publisher that will give us the user ID. So we're going to flat map it, which will give us this user. And then we want to return an any publisher user ID uh, to an error. Or rather, I guess it's never here. Let's think about this. Yeah, we're going to have it return an error. And then we're going to type in and we're going to say if there is a user we want to return just the user and then in order to um, have this just um, conform to this error type here or to this any publisher type we need to set the failure type here to error and then we need to erase to any publisher and it's not actually the user we want we want the user ID so it's going to be like this user I, uh, UID and
And if we don't have this, we want to then go back to our user service, sign the user in anon anonymously, map the user to UID, um, and then erase to any publisher. And then we're going to erase to any publisher on the overall uh, return type here. And we need to just make sure this is optional. And we need to make sure this is error.self. And we need the self here. Pass in the user ID here. Make sure we've got that correct. And return this here. And there we go. So we've got our function that will give us the current user ID. And what we want to do is pass this user ID into our create challenge uh, publisher. But just to check that this is all working, we are going to subscribe to it here. So we're going to type current user ID dot sync. And we get the user, or rather, the receive completion and receive value here. So we can say error, or rather completion. And then we can switch on the completion here. And if it's an error, we'll get this failure case. So let's grab the error out of the failure case. And we will be presenting an error view, but for now we're going to print the description or we can get this finished case here print uh, completed otherwise we'll get the user ID or rather we'll get this user ID as well and we can print this uh, retrieved user ID And then we want to store this in our cancelables, which we haven't yet defined. Let's come up to the top of our view model here and have a private var cancelables of type any cancelable, which is going to be empty. And there we go. So now when they tap this create challenge, we're going to trigger our publisher here, which will look uh, to see if we have a current user. If we do, we'll just return the user ID for that. If we don't, we will log the user in anonymously and then return the user ID. And then we will print that in our receive value here once we've subscribed. So let's uh, go ahead and run this. I think actually we can put a few print statements in our current user ID. So getting user ID and then we can say user is logged in or we can say user is being logged in anonymously and one thing you need to make sure before we actually run this is that we have anonymous sign-in switched on. Go to your console and click on your app. And if you go to authentication here and sign-in method, you need to make sure this anonymous is enabled here and just save that. Otherwise you will get an error here. So now let's run it once you've enabled that. Okay, so now you can see here that we tried to get the user ID. We aren't logged in, so we log them in anonymously and then we retrieve this ID. So I'll just copy this and when they next start the app, Uh, you can see here that this is the same ID here. 
So that seems to be working and now we can actually create our challenge and we will do that in the next episode.